My name is James Wilson. I own Wilson Forestry and we're from Athens, Wisconsin. Uh, I got into logging. I actually went to UW-Stevens Point and became a forester. And after I got out of school, um, I decided to start getting into logging um, while I was doing consulting. Um, I chose Ponzi machines about six years ago. Uh, before that, I had actually started the company uh, hand cutting with a small old John Deere conversion uh, skitter to, that was converted to a single bunk. Um, and then I had Timberjack Harvester. Um, had issues with uh, other companies uh, trying to get into a harvester and then Ponzi uh, showed up and brought me my 2010 Ergo that we traded off for this machine. And uh, um, now I own three Scorpions. <laughs> the thing that's kept me with Ponzi is definitely the service and the guys at parts. Um, Matt and service has kept this company running and then calling the guys in parts. They always know what we're talking about even though I might not. <laughs> so they've kept us going. They always have the parts. I've never questioned running up there. Never had a call really call ahead for parts. Um, if we know what we need, we just know they have it. Um, so it's been really good. The guys in the shop too on the, uh, on the service when we can't tackle fixing it, the guys in the shop or the field mechanics are phenomenal. Um, they really do their job well. We chose to go with the, the upgrade to the new Scorpion. Um, most of my operators really like the Scorpion. The, the visibility, especially in thinnings, but also in the buncher piles, you don't have, we went from the Ergo to now the Scorpion on this one, you don't have the crane in front of you. And my operators really like that when they're picking out a buncher piles. Um, and then just the comfort level of the, of the Scorpion cabs are, are phenomenal. Uh, we went with the act, active care, um, just the sense of security, uh, again with the good Ponzi service, we went with the active care um, so that this machine is well taken care of for a longer stretch. It's less time my operators will have to be doing maintenance and services on our older machines. We do that, but uh, with the newer machines, it's just going to put my guys more time in the seat and less time doing services. Uh, this current job site is around 100 acre hardwood thinning and it was a small Aspen clear cut um, for Lincoln County. Uh, we spend most of our time on county, county harvests. Um, they're usually larger tracks. Um, right now we have three, now with the new machine here, we'll have three scorpions and one ergo cutting on this uh, site with uh, two buffaloes and one buffalo king. Okay, the future holds uh, a lot of new challenges. Uh, for myself and this company as we continue to expand with Ponzi and add more machines. We're looking to grow even bigger with more machines. So I'm gonna end up having less time in my seat cutting and more time doing the management as we, as we grow the company um, into bigger and better places. I think the future for logging, especially in Wisconsin where we, we work, is uh, gonna stay pretty steady. Um, Wisconsin does a lot of good timber management. Um, the mills that are still currently in Wisconsin, I think are st staying pretty strong. Um, so I think the idea of managing timber in Wisconsin is gonna stay strong. So it's gonna steep, keep going at a pretty steady pace. I don't see big ups and downs for a while, but I think we're gonna stay and maintain where we're at. Or right, my thoughts to other loggers um, that are in the industry and aren't sure or having issues with service on their machines um, and they don't have Ponzi's to definitely look into Ponzi. Um, again, we started with um, other varieties of machines and even as I've grown, we've gone to other name brand machines and ended up having a lot of issues um, between parts and service. And, and now I own six, six Ponzi's. Um, and we just don't have them issues when it comes to getting the machine fixed, even if it's a phone call to Matt Okulski at Ponzi or actually having the service techs come back out. You have this peace of mind with really good quality machines that, uh, that you know you're gonna get parts and service for.